Hey guys, it's Kelly, and today I am bringing you a 2021 Genesis GV80. This is Genesis' first SUV. It is brand new for 2021, and I'm so excited to show you guys what it has to offer. If this is your first time checking me out, hey, I'm Kelly, and I'm the car mom. I review cars for moms and for families. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and comment below about which tour I should do next. All right, let's get started. So let's take a look at this car. First things first, this thing is going to catch your eye on the road. I absolutely love this diamond cut Genesis grill that they have put out with the Genesis logo right here. The hood lines so nicely come off the logo and then go back the rest of the way up the hood. And I think this car looks amazing. It's really giving me like Bentley Bentayga vibes, which is the Bentley SUV. Huge fan. I think the headlights are beautiful with the daytime running lights right here. We've got some gorgeous rims on this particular model. I'm doing a beautiful metallic gray color. Make sure you stay tuned until the end of this video because I'm actually going to be building my own Genesis GV80 and I'm gonna talk you through the different trim levels. As we move along to the side profile, I think that these are gorgeous and they actually light up when you turn your blinker on as well. So not only do we have a chrome element, but also as the car's driving, kind of an added safety feature as well. Moving down, we've got a beautiful belt line that goes here, some chrome roof rails, chrome all the way around the windows, and then there's even some chrome down here. I'm obsessed with that. It's like, that is a straight up mirror. Like check your lip gloss, check your teeth, do what you need to do down there. And then moving along to the back end, we start with some wraparound tail lights. Again, kind of that like double that kind of mimics the headlights and then those blinker lights up there. So I think that plays into the car nicely. And then we have the beautiful Genesis, Genesis badging right there. So overall, I'm a huge fan of the exterior. I think the car looks very luxurious. It is more of a luxury car. Uh, this one has an MSRP of 61,000. So it's kind of competing with some of those Acuras, you know, maybe some BMWs. So I love the exterior, but let's take a look at the interior. Okay, here's a shot of me in the driver's seat of this brand new GV80. Um, I actually really like the interior design. There's some things I don't love, I'll get to that in a minute, but just even starting with my door panel right here, there's some beautiful materials that are really integrated nicely into the design of the car. We've got some contrast stitching, like exposed wood trim, a lot of nice chrome details. Even if you just look at like how beautiful like the window buttons are, it's just those little touches that I really appreciate on a car of this price point. Um, we've got some si side cubby right there. It's kind of lame. That's a no-go, so don't love that. But let's get you on the other side and I'll show you some more of the features. Okay, so let's talk about some more of the interior designs in this GV80. To start with the steering wheel. I've never seen a steering wheel like this. It's like not like a, a three spoke or whatever. So you just have like two places to put your hands. I don't know, sometimes I like to drive like that. So I'm kind of missing that like little part right there. But I guess it was something you would obviously get used to. Some Great steering wheel controls. Again, just like everything in that chrome with so many nice like finishing details. I love the texture on like my headlights, the texture on the volume button. I think that looks beautiful. Not a digital dash. Well, it's like a half digital dash. The odometer is not, but then the rest of it is. And then we move into this huge freaking display. I mean, absolutely huge. So I like that it's a touch screen or you can control it with this thing. So that gives you some options, which I think is kind of nice. And then moving down into our climate control, it's some buttons, but a lot of it is actually a touch screen. So you can just like turn up your fan that way, turn your ventilated seats on, your heated seat, your heated steering wheel. So I like that they've, even though keeping this a touch screen, they've pulled it out of there for quick and easy access. This is our, tr ooh, those ventilated seats. Wow. Wow. Whoo, that feels good. And then this shifter, I mean, a moment of silence for it. It is one of the most beautiful shifters I've ever seen. It looks like a diamond was just dropped right there. And then you can hit your park button. You can just slightly twist it to put it in gear. I mean, I am obsessed with that. Um, moving on to some of our like cubby spaces up here. We've got our wireless charger with two USBs. Again, just this like exposed wood, just like coming in in all areas of the car. I'm obsessed. And then we've got two cup holders. You know, they're a decent size. They're fitting the Starbucks cup fine. Shopcarmofficial.com to get your own broccoli sticker. Um, and then we move into the center console. You know, it's actually very deep. I mean, elbow check, 
My, it almost covers my whole elbow. I've got a iPhone 11 for reference. So for the size of the car, I'm actually pretty impressed with the center console. Now the GV80 can have a third row optional. This one does not have one. And honestly, um, they're kind of hard to get a hold of. So I'm just doing the five passenger option. If you do have one with the third row, the third row is very tight. There's no car seat situation to talk about. So just gonna throw that out there. I'm only doing the five passenger today. And then also loving this thing down here. I mean, we love a place just to throw crap. Love it. All right, here's a shot of me in the passenger seat. Just wanted to take a minute to talk about some of the seat comforts in this car. These seats are, they're comfortable, but they are pretty firm, especially for a car that's claiming to be so luxury. I do think it's a little firmer of a seat. And um, the BMWs also have firm seats, so I'm not necessarily saying that luxury means plush. It just feels very like a sport style seat and it's not the comfiest seat I've ever sat in. All right, here I am in the second row of the GV80. Let's talk about some of my second row amenities. First off, we love a built-in sunshade. I mean, we love that. Um, moving along to the door panel, you know, it actually is really nice. I'm happy to see they didn't put all the nice materials in the front and then keep it pretty cheap back here because we have those same elements, which just kind of overall plays into the luxury ceilings of the entire car. We've got the lamest pocket ever. Come on, give me a leather back. What can I put in there? I can't put a thing in there. I don't really like that. And then my seats, pretty comfortable actually. Um, it's a very wide seat, so especially for taller drivers or for car seats, that's definitely going to come in play. Um, and by wide, I mean depth. It's a very deep seat. It is wide though also, I guess. And um, I have some, sh some vents down here. Honestly, they're like really tiny vents though. So I do wish those were just a little bit bigger. Something else that's kind of interesting is when you're back here in the second row, you can control this seat, not the driver's seat, but this seat by these buttons right here. So if you did put the child in and you wanted to maybe put a little bit more room up here, you can move that forward, which I think that's super handy. Oh, also check out this down here. Two USBs and an outlet. So for your crock pot, for your breast pump, whatever you need, you're good to go. As far as my car seat setup's concerned, it's exactly what I would expect to have found. I have lower anchors in this seat, in this other outboard seat, and then tether anchors across the bench. So pretty basic for a car seat setup. I am gonna put my car seat in here just to give you guys an idea of space. All right, so I have installed an up and mess up pumpkin seat, obviously rear facing, in this Genesis GV80, just to give you an idea of space. Um, I did set this seat for myself. I'm pretty tall, about six feet tall, and I gave myself plenty of room, and I still have enough clearance. So I was really excited to see that. All right, so let's talk about our trunk space. Check this out. Here's how you open the trunk. On the wiper blade, which I have never seen that I don't think. It took me forever. I was going like this, like kind of feeling around. Felt nothing. So just hit that button, opens up the power tailgate, which is amazing. And then guys, we are welcomed with a beautiful trunk, quite frankly. Very large. Again, cannot imagine a third row in here. The, the vehicle will be the same size no matter what. Um, so that would be a lot to handle. Love the size of this trunk, even like just the mats in here. Like I love how they have like, they're like textured, like going up like a weight. It's just all great. We can also put down our second row from right here. So that's super handy, especially for like carrying bigger cargo. So I love that you can do that from back here. Let me get my Upper Baby Vista stroller in. Oh yeah. So we can put it all the ways. See what I mean? Yeah. Room for grocery still. Like a big grocery haul, like maybe like a Costco grocery haul. That's a 10 out of 10. I mean, I'm feeling it. Like, I think it's really fancy. I like it. Guys, look at how cool this is. When you turn your blinker on, it will show you your blind spot. That's pretty snazzy. Okay, so that is going to wrap up my 2021 Genesis. Genesis. Every time. Why? You know, like, Genesis. No way I'm saying that. <laughs> okay, so that is going to wrap up my 2021 Genesis GV80 Tour. This car is very luxurious and it's really competing with some of the Volvos and the Acres of the world. We'll see how it does. I liked it. I don't know if I like it better than like the Acura MDX or like the Volvo XC60, but I definitely like it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment below about what you thought. I'm super curious and I'll talk to you next time. Let's build my very own 2021 Genesis GV80. I don't know why this car, it's literally so hard for me to say the words GV80. Don't love the name of the car. But nonetheless, the first thing we need to do is select a powertrain so we can get the 2.5 turbo or the 3.5 turbo that comes in all-wheel drive and wheel-wheel drive. And then we obviously have an advanced plus as well. Um, you know, kind of all over the place. Third row seating comes in this one. I think the third row seating is going to be super lame. I'm honestly probably just gonna to stick to the 2.5 all-wheel drive as my powertrain. 
And then next, if I select the packages, I have a couple of different options. Um, standard comes with a lot of great stuff. I mean, we still have the, I mean, it has ventilated seats and a wireless charger. So already I'm pretty impressed with the features on it. You know, I looked at this one a lot. The biggest thing is, is the standard has a leatherette. So it's not technically a real leather. The advanced package has the leatherette, but they do break it down very nicely. Um, because if you select the package and view the features, then you can see like what you're not getting. So in the advanced package, I get the 20 inch wheels. Um, if you were like, okay, I really want full LED headlights. Well, those come in anything. So after kind of going like panoramic sunroof comes in any package. So after going through all of them, I think I am going to stick with the advanced package just because for, you know, less than four grand, I get a lot of additional features. Um, the leather being like, you know, a really big one for me. And I get some upgraded wheels, which I think will look nice. So I'm going to stick to the advanced package. Next, we will go to our colors, which is probably my favorite part. Pretty fun colors, actually. Hello, green. What? And honestly, the green looks good, doesn't it? Um, this silver, not bad. Or this silver, this gold. You know we always have to see the blue. Kind of navy. I think, maybe I'm feeling crazy, but I think I'm going to go for the green with the beige interior, because that's my only option. I mean, that is kind of stinking cute. Totally look would catch my eye on the road. Um, going to accessories, you know, just first aid kit for $45, probably good. Um, no, I don't think I need any of this. So that would bring my Genesis GV80 to an MSRP of 59.5.